Hey guys, hey girls, hey Kayla Shea Bates back again with another video for you guys. Nobody else makes me, nobody else had a clue what I could do, what I could do. Right around the so today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to do a chit chat, get ready with your girl. And I'm super excited to just sit down, catch up, tell y'all little things, and do my makeup and get pretty with y'all. So I have some topics in front of me right here, and we're going to talk about them, go into depth about them. We're going to just chit chat for the girls. This is for the girls. For the girls. So I'm excited and... Yeah, let's just get right into the video. So, of course, you know I got my bust down here. So, we're going to put it up. We're going to use these clips. I was supposed to go buy some, but I didn't buy none. So, we're just going to use these clips just to clip the hair back. Because, baby, we don't need makeup going in our bust down. Okay? So, we're just going to clip these back and make sure they stay back. And we gonna do our makeup and get pretty. Uh, I'm so excited. So I'm not gonna go into detail with the whole makeup look, um, but I am going to talk to y'all a lot in the video about a lot of different things. So the first topic, and there's a mirror in front of me, so yeah. So the first topic is setting boundaries. So I learned a lot about setting boundaries, okay? and setting boundaries ain't easy it's not easy at all it's not easy um setting boundaries and i mean include everything like family friends relationship your partner anything like setting boundaries at your job setting boundaries within your career like setting boundaries in general i never understood how important that was until i want to say last year 2023 because babe that was a year <laughs> that was a year so setting boundaries for me includes like especially like in within yourself knowing what you're gonna take from somebody and then also knowing the boundaries that people can have with you like because uh-uh because people will play in your face, okay? Okay, setting boundaries are important because you don't want people to just come in your life and, and you have these expectations for them, but you don't set boundaries. So they just, you know, doing whatever they want to do in your life. No, that's not how it works. So setting boundaries is important to me because I already know where I want you to be in my life. If I am your friend, your lover, your cousin, I don't care there's boundaries like you're not no you can't overstep your boundaries because you're gone first of all um second it's just like it's just like a security for yourself honestly in my eyes it's a, sec a security for yourself meaning meaning you're guarding yourself from anything like bad intentions um bad energy anything of that sort you do not want any of it at all whatsoever at least me i don't want any of it whatsoever so setting boundaries is very important because people will really take you take you out your character all of that and maybe we don't need it we don't need it we don't need it Okay, so the next topic is having doubts. So I put this one down specifically for anyone that is, that has, have, or is having doubts about themselves. Um, I'm not gonna catch. I doubt myself a lot. Like, I downplay everything that I do a lot. And I realize that that's not healthy. It's not healthy. It, it is overwhelming sometimes. Like, having doubts is literally like negative space. stop having that space. anything that you want to accomplish that you think you're going to accomplish that you really like want to achieve you're going to do it 
don't doubt nothing in your life, whether it's big or small, don't downplay nothing in your life because you really just set yourself up for failure. And I think having doubts is just like having like a negative mindset, a mindset for yourself. So but um downplaying anything having doubts about anything is just like creating this negative space where you think you won't accomplish anything or you won't accomplish what you want to accomplish so i say having doubts f doubts literally f doubts because those will have you in a state of mind where you just can't escape okay and baby, we don't need that stuff when it comes to Um, what helps me is I journal a lot now. Um, I journal, I pray so much about the stuff that I want in my life that I want to change. Um, and you can't doubt. Once you give it to God, you can't doubt. Because, baby, he's going to make it rain. Best believe you, that man gonna make a way. That man gonna make a way. So, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. I say give it to God and call it a day. Because at the end of the day, if it's meant for you, you gonna get it. You will have it. You will have it. If it's meant for you, you will have it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, so the next topic is old habits versus new habits and this is kind of a touchy subject to to me at least to a lot of people but to me because baby breaking old habits and replacing them with new habits is not easy it's not for the weak it's not easy and baby they don't happen overnight that junk takes forever like not forever like literally but like sometimes it just takes time it really does because stuff that i would usually do years ago i would never when i say never do now i would never do because it. it just i be looking at myself like Kiera. yo but <laughs> yeah new new habits you have to create them you have to create the habits that you want in your life you can't just keep doing your old stuff because old things won't open new doors old keys won't allow new doors okay old things just won't work for you trying to upgrade your life they won't i learned that the hard way as well because i always thought like okay i can bring some of this old stuff in my new life no Baby, it don't work like that. It's either you ditch the old and upgrade to the new, or you stay in the old and you keep going in a cycle. So, in my opinion, I feel like new habits are great. Like, adapt new habits. Adapt going out more if you don't go out. Um, doing stuff that you don't normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, just adapting new and healthy. I want that to be very emphasized. Healthy habits because baby you don't want new and toxic habits because what's what's the point what's the point you're still gonna go in a dance a down spiral you're still gonna be off balance it's just not a good way to do new habits so if you're thinking about switching over and gaining new habits i say go for it go for it because with growth comes change, with age comes change, with the years passing by comes change. Like you don't want to be the same person that you were two years ago. No, absolutely not. You want to change, you want to adapt, you want to grow, you want to conquer these dreams that you got, girl. So I would say ditch the bad old habits. And I'm not saying you got to ditch all of your old habits right about now. But over time, things that you know that you don't want in your new life or your growth journey, ditch them. Ditch them. And if you know that they're not good for you, not healthy for you, ditch them. I'm just telling y'all. Create new and healthy habits. 
for yourself if you're trying to better your life better your situation better anything you have to change your habits okay change those habits and it ain't gonna happen overnight it's not gonna happen overnight so take your time and adapt new and healthy okay so the next topic is self-worth so speaking in my own speaking about my own life my own situations everything that i've been through me it took a long time for me to know my self-worth okay and i'm not even gonna talk to y'all it took me a while like when i say a while it took me a while because situations that i look back on now i just be thinking like babe you could have left you could have got out of that situation so long ago but you stayed because you didn't know your support and that's okay it's okay not to know right then and there baby i'm only 22 so so self-worth is a big thing like self-worth is huge to me now like mm -mm. i might do some little one two here and there but i regroup myself right after that like baby no you know better you know um i really didn't know anything about self-worth my mom will always try to um tell me about it but i would never listen because i wanted to be in the situations i was in speaks of old habits um that's where i wanted to be that's who i was that's just who kiera was at the time so i never really listened until probably like I want to say two years ago I kind of like just got in this groove of things and I started to date myself more and that brings us to the next topic single and feeling alone and dating yourself and all this other stuff babe it's okay to be single it's okay like it is so okay to be single that it hurts it's okay it's literally okay to be single i've been single for i want to say oh almost a year now no i i don't babe because <laughs> nobody asked me to be that girl so i want to say i've been single for some years now i haven't like settled down with someone or talked to someone in probably like a year and babe when i tell you that journey right there is lonely but it's okay because it gives you more time to focus on yourself get yourself in tech just everything like it just helps you a lot it helps you learn who you really are what you want to do um all this other stuff it, it really does it really does help you but i'm not gonna sit here in front and act like it's just like all peaches and creams because it's not it's very lonely it gets um uh, very overwhelming sometimes because you know everybody wants their person everybody wants their person everybody deserves their person everybody deserves love but love but when it ain't your time it's not your time and that's what I had to come to realization. Like I used to always try to force myself to be in a relationship and it wasn't my time. It was, ne it was never my time. Yet. So I would say if you are going through something simu similar like that, um, where you are in this journey of being single and feeling alone and dating yourself, it is okay. It is okay to feel those emotions. It is okay to feel like you want somebody, but right now is not the time. So I would say just go with the flow. Um, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, like, oh, you need a man. Cause if I could tell y'all how many times I didn't heard that in my um, single life, which is right now, um, if I could tell y'all how many times I heard that, like, you need a boyfriend, you don't have a boyfriend, why don't you have a boyfriend, you're so pretty, all this other stuff. Baby, I don't want one right now. I've been so screwed over to the point where I just, I'm okay right now. Like, I'm okay. There is times where I want someone, but it's literally for a split second, probably for like a couple hours or two. 
But other than that, I just be chilling. Like I date myself, I take myself out. Um, I really don't be going nowhere for chicken. But, but um, I take myself out. I buy myself things that I want. Um, I basically the term I date myself. So I would say keep going. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Cause that's where you honestly learn a lot of your self-worth from dating yourself and being independent and spending time by yourself, getting to know yourself and just everything. Like it honestly is it's really a good feeling once you think about it like that. When I think about it, it's a good feeling. But we're just girls. We need we want that love, you know. You know how we go. But yeah, that's what I will say on that topic. Okay, so the next the next topic is insecurities. So insecurities is a touchy subject to a lot of people. It used to be a touchy subject to me, but mm, not no more, baby, not no more. So insecurities, you have everyone, I'm not gonna say everyone, but everyone has insecurities in within, within themselves. Um, a lot of different people drive insecurities out of you, um, but you gotta be secure with it, within yourself. People might not like you for your hair, your skin tone, anything. It can be literally the littlest thing that we just obsess with over ourselves. But baby, you can't make you can't let nobody get under your skin. Mm -mm. You can't let nobody tell you who you are, what you stand for. If you cute or not, baby, you cute. F them. You is fine, okay? Um No what no matter what nobody tells you, like you can't let anyone, and I mean anyone, not a mama, not a daddy, not a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, not a nobody tell you about yourself. So that's for insecurities right there. You have to be secure within yourself. Once you're secure within yourself, can't nobody, can't nobody top that. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. Baby, I done had some insecurities over the years. But when I tell you right now, right now, I'm so secure that you can say anything. Try to push me, try to push a button, try to do anything. You can't, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. I'm just... I'm just cool like I'm I love myself like I love myself I love myself way too much to let you hurt me over something that has to do with me you can't tell me about me you not me you not me so that's that okay don't let nobody make you feel insecure don't let nobody try to pick your mind for your insecurities F them who is they F them F them Okay, so the next topic is navigating through your 20s. Yeah, if y'all have watched my um, other video where I just had came back from a long break, I was telling you guys like social media is draining and it makes you feel like when you're in your 20s, you're supposed to have it all together, baby, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. You gotta live in a real world, okay? But navigate it in your 20s. You literally are still like young. You're still young. You really don't know what's going on, especially for me. I'm still young. Um, I still have so much time to do everything. And when I say everything, everything that I've ever planned in my life, I still have so much time to do. So I kind of want to say this is advice for anybody that is in their 20s do not rush and take your time with everything because t time is fast okay time goes so fast like me i'm 22 i feel like i was just 19 20 yesterday but now i'm 22 i don't know how i got here but i'm 22 <laughs> so i would say just take your time live go out do your do your big one live your life um travel do as much as you can because you can't get these years back once you 30 you 30 once you 30 you 30 so i would say that um take your time and it's not a rush it's not a race 
um to grow up because once you grow you grow and once you old you old so i would just say take your time and live live your life live your life navigating through my 20s is hard i would say i made it hard for myself last year of course um because i was always in a rush to do something and no mm -mm. now i'm just taking it day by day i film for y'all i love what i do i work i pray i go to church i do a lot of stuff that i never thought i would do i would be doing like my life really did a 360 for the better for the better okay so the next topic is existing outside of social media so y'all know i just took a break a two-month break off social media and it was well needed okay it was well needed because once you on social media you on there and people just be posting keeping up with joneses and maybe that ain't me so i had to get off and existing outside of social media is very weird at first but once you get the hang of it you be chilling okay so that's what i did um existing outside of social media i say everyone needs that to exist outside of social media to live outside of social media because social media is a rabbit hole that you cannot escape so baby if you get the chance not even if you get the chance take a little time for yourself get off social media um and i'm not saying get off delete all the apps i mean take time off social media i mean as in you don't have to spend your whole day checking instagram checking facebook being on facebook being on instagram being on tiktok twitter snapchat tumblr anything that you're on you don't need to be on it all day it and consuming your brain okay so i would say get outside get some fresh air have that people on people relationship like talk to people communicate like we are lacking that. we're very much lacking that. we're you go somewhere and y'all don't talk like don't nobody talk because everybody in their phone no get off your phone babe get off your phone and chat like get off your phone and chat but yeah that's what i would say about existing outside of social media we all like that people on people conversation nobody really wants to do stuff anymore everyone just wants to do like social media and stuff like that so yes yeah. okay so i did this online so the last thing we're gonna talk about today is growth baby growth growth is not easy growth is very difficult it's very uncomfortable and if you're uncomfortable you're doing it right if you're not baby try <laughs> try again growth is very when i say very uncomfortable is very uncomfortable because everybody cannot grow with you that's facts everybody can grow with you so god will start removing the folks that can't grow with you okay and it ain't they acting weird it's them it's them that's them God is removing them from your life because you are growing. You are getting better. You are outgrowing people. It's okay to outgrow people, places, things, jobs, careers, anything. It's okay to outgrow these people, okay? Grow. Baby, that's all I gotta say. Especially like when you're in your 20s, young adult, grow. Grow as much as you can. Grow with the intentions of bettering your life, being better for yourself, by yourself. Just being that girl, being that girl, okay? Be that girl. Okay, so this is the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks and all the stuff that I talked about in today's video. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any video ideas you want to see from your girl, Key. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.